That's how YouTube is his mind. I uh, wanted to make a quick vlog video. It has been three years. Can you believe it? I have never had vlogs for three years. It's been three years since I had my sister vlogs installed. And, um, yeah. So, I have a braid out right now. I put eight cornrows in on dry hair, but I did spritz it with my um, water oil combo. Okay, so yeah, so you can see. I think I've had some pretty good growth. You guys, as you've been following me, you guys know my hair was like this long when I started. Yeah, so. Um, you know, um, I've had two children since I started my locks, and I feel like I've had some uh, thinning um, around the edges be because of postpartum shedding. And when I look at my locks, see, this is um, this thinning is from the baby I had 20 months ago, and you see it's the thinnest right here. And then it started thickening back up. So the, the shedding stopped. And I only have a few locks that are thin from um, that baby. Right? You can see it got thinner. But then it's, thick, it's thickening back up. And it seems like those thin locks are only in the front. I don't see them like all throughout my hair. Um, so, this is a few locks around my hairline, and my hairline, see, I have not lost a lock, but this hair is just more sparse, um, along my hairline. And this side, I, I haven't lost a lock, but it looks really bad over here. Um, I had a baby four months ago, and since I've had that baby, this side has thinned out. Um, and it could be for two reasons. It could be the postpartum shedding. But I also sleep um, on my right side. And I've been sleeping on my right side for two, I mean like in my pregnancies, you know, um, you, I sleep on the right. Um, and then now um, that I've had my baby, my baby sleeps in the bed with us because um, I nurse. Well, we started winning, but I nurse him, and um, I sleep on the right a lot, and I don't move because I'm, tr you know, I just want to make sure my baby um, is safe, and so, and I do sleep with a um, satin pillowcase um, when when I'm not wearing a scarf. So I don't know if constantly sleeping on the right side is rubbing, or if it's totally postpartum. Because this side seems to be worse than this side. But with my daughter, this side would seem to be worse than that side. So, uh, it could be a combination of the two. Like I said, I didn't lose a lot. But if you look at some old pictures, I just had... My hair has always been thin right here. But I had enough hair. It, it looked... It wasn't enough. It wasn't thick enough to make a lock. And so, that hair was just pulled back into this lock. And you could just still see the hair. But see now... It's hair there, but it's so short. It's too short to, it's too short and too thin to even attempt to guide it back into these two locks right here. This right here has always been super um, sparse, almost nothing right there. But right here, where these two locks are, I had more hair, um, and so it didn't look as thin. Yeah, so. I'll show you what I've been using, and hopefully it'll work. Um, I might, I probably might have to order some pure um, um, black castor oil, oil, Jamaican black castor oil. I might, but I'm gonna use up this bottle and see if it works. I don't put this in my hair every day. I try to put it in there at least two times a week. When I think about it, I will put it in there every day or every other day. But I try to remember to put it in there a couple times a week. 
and I keep them all along my hairline. And the, this top of my hair has always been thinner um, than the rest of my hair. And it doesn't seem like it's thinning out. But I just want to be on the safe side. Um, so, see these, to me, these I don't really see the thinning in these locks. Maybe there was a little bit. But th they don't seem like uh, the other ones. And it's, to me, I think um, all of my tips, all of my um, ends are fat. And I guess that's just from, like, um, the initial install or whatever. You know, those, all of the, almost all of my locks and ends are fatter. So I don't think that's a thing with thinning. I think that that's, like, the, the locks that were initially installed, you know, I don't know. Cause you know though you know your your tips loosen up and stuff and they just kind of to me they kind of mat differently than the rest of the hair. So anyway, um, yeah. So this is a uh, Shea Moisture, um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Rest Restorative Hair Serum, and I put this all on my hairline and at the in the very front of my hair right and then I also have water I'm using an old um, Missy Poo's which I really like Missy Poo and I need to order some more of this this is just uh, I used up the um, um, the uh, conditioning moisturizer that was in here and uh, this is water with um, a little bit of jojoba and um, argan oil. Uh, from time to time, I use African's Best Oil, and I alternate between peppermint and um, rosemary drops in my water. All right. So that's this is my oil water mix. I spray on. Um, every few days. I don't spray it every day. If my hair is straight, I might spray it more regularly. But when I have curls or, or braid out, um, then I don't spray it as much. I have my rose water that I spray every few days or whatever. And I have an old rose water bottle that this is actually a conditioner. Um, just a, a leave-in conditioner that I bought. And the spray didn't work right, and so I just poured it in here. Um, I, I think it was African Best. I don't know. I think it's African African's Best is the uh, is the um, brand of that. I don't know. And um, coconut oil, and that is pretty much what I use on my hair. Right now, I'm washing my hair with Shea Moisture, uh, that brown shampoo, um, but. I don't know if I buy more of that or if I, I think I might want to go to Trader Joe's and get some tea tree shampoo. I really like that tingle um, shampoo. I do, I haven't bought it in a while and I might start back buying it, but because I color my hair red, sometimes I use the uh, shampoo and conditioner for red hair or color treated red hair. Um, but I don't think I've, I don't think I've colored my hair since like January. I don't know. I may do it. I don't know. I don't really feel inclined to do it right now. Um, but I may do it. So we shall see. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's been three years since I got these locks and I'm just loving it. Sister Locks is the best best hair decision that I could have made. Um, yeah, so, I don't do much to my hair, um, I, uh, I really wear it straight a lot, I do most of my retightening, um, uh, lately, um, Yeah, I do most of my retightenings lately. I ordered uh, <coughs> the old locker tool. And 
I don't know when I'll go back to a consultant. I might go back just to make sure everything is looking good or whatever. Um, uh, um, but I, I just had a third child. <laughs> I need to save a little bit of money, right? So, um, yeah. And I just, I do the four point rotation. It takes me, I can do my hair in two days. Like, it, you know, not all day long, but just like two days, give me two days, give me Friday, Saturday, or Saturday, Sunday, or something. Um, and I can knock it out in two days. Um, and that's just because I got two babies. That I'm, I have three kids, but it's my 20 month old and my four month old that take up a lot of my time. So, and my husband's work schedule, I'm here with them alone a lot. So, yeah, I'm trying to think. I just, I don't do much to my hair though. I wear it straight a lot unless I feel like putting some braids in there or some rollers, which I haven't done rollers in a while. I think I need to start styling my hair. Like my um, son is always grabbing my hair, and that mess hurts. <laughs> oh my god, he's always oh he grabs it and he has such a grip, and I don't know why he goes for my hair, but he does. And so um, I need to work on styling. Right now, the the quickest way to get my hair, I pull pull the sides back or I pull it put it up into a bun um I love buns I love how big my hair has gotten uh, how thick it is sometimes I still feel like it's not thick enough to do styles that I see you uh you youtubers doing the, but I think it's really it's not I guess it's not really the thickness but it's the length it's so much longer but I think that, you know, longer locks like, you know, like this and longer. Well, I think when you um, do those different braided styles or tuck styles or buns that wrap around, I think that's what gives it the volume and not so much like the individual lock, but how many times, you know, how, how long your braid is or how many times you're wrapping that, those locks around the bun or whatever. I think that's what's given people volume so I just need to figure out how to do some styles that'll work for my length like I've been dying to get long locks like two three years long I've had some long locks I've been styling my hair and I feel like my hair is pretty long and I still like I don't know what to do I don't know how to style it so yeah I just love <laughs> touching my hair <laughs> Y'all don't laugh at me. Yeah. So. I wanted to do my hair. Do the video with my hair straight. But after I finished my retie. I just didn't. Want my hair straight. I like to have some. Some kind of curls in it. Like that's like. I feel like my hair looks. The best when it has. Just a little curl or wave. Um, so yeah, so, in the front, <laughs> my bang, I don't have a bang anymore, do I? My bang is, uh, naturally, I guess it doesn't quite hit my chin. Mm, I have to pull it to get to my chin. So, um... Most of my hair hangs past my chin. And then, um, on the front, it's not quite armpit length. I might have a couple of locks that are. This is here. I, I think from the back, I have a couple of locks that might come down to here, but. We're almost there. Maybe by maybe by three and a half years I'll be an armpit. Or at least some of my locks will be an armpit. Maybe four years. 
about four years I should be at armpit. R-A-P-L. <laughs> yeah. So. And what, um, I think the, um, I think the right side of my hair is shorter than the left side. I think it's always been like that. Like, I always thought it was breaking off, but I don't know, I think my hair might just grow like that. And, I really can't think of anything else to say. Um, I still have some, you know, nice parts. I so my grid might be. I had a couple, a few locks were combined, so going throughout my grid, you might, um, you might see. Yeah. Some zigzagginess going on or whatever, but you know, I don't know. YouTube. I think that's pretty much it. I'm so, I just love my locks. I absolutely love my locks and maybe I will style them more uh, and maybe I'll make videos or take pictures or something. Um, I, I've been getting those emails for the sister locks. Um, um, the styling book. Uh, you know, the magazine, the the the, the e magazine or whatever. He's, um, I forget what it's out, what it's called. It's like five dollars or something. I think I might go ahead and um and subscribe to that or whatever, so that I can get some style ideas maybe because I don't do nothing but the braid out, so twist out or something or straight. And my buns, I love my buns, I love my buns. Buns are so easy. Yeah, so. This video has been long enough. <laughs> Thanks YouTube.